Tony, this week, Superior firefighters returned home after spending more than a week helping with Helene recovery in North Carolina. Yeah, that's right. In Northern News Now's Jeffrey McClure spent time with two of them learning about the devastation that they witnessed. It was certainly a, a magnitude of destruction that we hadn't seen before. Two Superior firefighters, John Prendergast and Bob Zimmerman, joined the recovery efforts in North Carolina this past week following Hurricane Helene for the first major out-of-state deployment for Wisconsin Task Force 1. Both firefighters have been training with the force since 2014. And even though they don't have experience with hurricanes, their skills allowed them to assist in a variety of ways. While we can't train for a hurricane per se, we are trained in search and rescue. We're trained in debris removal. We're trained in swift water, so we have the ability to both swim and navigate uh, in swift water in boats. Their main mission was recovery efforts on a 13 and a half mile stretch of the Pigeon River in western North Carolina. We were able to go up into different areas that the storm had created and talking with the locals that knew the river well before, um, it completely changed the landscape. So we had no idea what we were kind of getting into around each bend. The crew was scheduled for a seven day deployment, but chose to stay an extra day so their mission could be completed. Residents there were thankful. Uh, we worked with a lot of local volunteer firefighters and supporting them uh, in their communities and they couldn't express how appreciative they were for us. But some took time to show that appreciation on Facebook posts announcing the force returned home. It felt pretty good to be able to be out there and help them, and a lot of them were very shocked when they found out that we came all the way from Wisconsin to uh, help their small community. In Superior, Jeffrey McClure, Northern News Now. And the task force was made up of first responders from across Wisconsin. Learn more about it at northernnewsnow.com.